Welcome back to the abandoned castle. It just strikes me that I haven't got a screenshot for this mission yet. Should I do something as spoilery as this? Or should I just do like the front entrance to the castle? I don't know. Anyway, what I do have is uh, hints on... Well, not hints. <laughs> um, I would have preferred hints, but uh, unfortunately there wasn't anyone in the thread asking questions and giving hinting answers. There was only um, outright direct... Here is where the keys are uh, in the walkthrough. So... Yes, we go and find the keys that I that I overlooked. And one of them, I don't know if it's important. Um, uh, not that way. Okay, all the way to the end. So one of them, one of them you might have seen, or maybe even technically both of them you might have seen, I suppose. So where oh, this is the this is this room? Okay, this one is so this is the room that fits, right? What's in here? Is it just loot or is it something more important? I don't know. Uh, and I looked around and I didn't look up enough. See that sitting there? That's a key that is. Okay, that's just loot. That doesn't really matter then. I mean, I suppose we do have a loot goal, right? 3,500, yeah. But well, we're getting there. The other one was... Well, I guess it is in this bedroom. Uh, and I looked here, right? And I didn't see it. Like, I found I found this switch. It just... I don't know. It's supposed to be semi-secret. You know, I looked here. I didn't see anything. Can you see anything? You see that? I can barely see it, even when I know it's there. If I walked behind the bed, I would have found the attic key, but I didn't walk behind the bed. I just looked and didn't see anything and thought there was nothing. All right, so we can go up to the attic now. So she was taunting me, oh, I wouldn't go up there if I were you, but uh, unfortunately the taunting was a little bit out of place when I didn't have the key, so oh well. We have the key now. You can taunt away, little kid. Taunt away. Taunt your little heart out before I rip it out. <laughs> okay. We get spookier sound all of a sudden. Okay, lights to go on and off. I don't see any immediate sign of enemies. Are you an enemy or are you just a scripted sequence to spook me? You seem to not seem to be behaving like an enemy. Well, maybe you are. You are moving around. Oh. Oh yeah, you're an enemy. What the fuck? Just shoots enormous particle effects at you, so you can't even see what see what's going on. I suppose it's an effective way to be an enemy you don't want to be fighting. But also moves ridiculously fast. Well, I mean, it might be susceptible to mines. We can find out, right?
Hmm. A weird blur that's appearing. I think. mistake okay uh, it does seem to be susceptible to the mind but it also immediately knew what it was when I dropped a mine on it which is uh, awkward let's give it two mines shall we you stay well back Nope, still coming. Oh, oh. Ah! The problem was the uh, second mine went off because of the first mine. Oh, he just immediately knows where I am? Oh, <laughs> uh, that's not gonna help. <laughs> well, I get to watch myself die, how about that? Oh, he's a very bad shot, actually, look at that. I think we just have to avoid him, because he's not dying to all those mines. It's just annoying because it's silent and fast, and the light flickers on and off, and it's like, uh You've not set this up to be an interesting... Is that the attic key? To be interesting stealth, you've set this up to be aggravating stealth. What happened to the attic key? Let's just go. I mean, I can follow him, right? I'm gonna try lock picking that door, I suppose. Yeah, it looks like he's got a negative dynamic light underneath him, which is kind of the way he has the weird glow. Crates. Vault or vault door. I mean, it's always good to have a spare, isn't it? All right. And we can wait. We're safe in the dark here. All right. This attic isn't so terrible, scary. Just gotta be. A little wary of this guy. friend to pass by one more time. Okay. I, mean, I would have preferred to be able to just like dispense with them entirely, but... Oh. 
Oh, but I need a chess pot here. King and queen. Wow, it's bigger than when I picked it up. Uh, that means I need to find a second one somewhere. Is there one in the attic here? And the guy said to write the note. Where is the note? Hammer diary. Two objects, right? One, one doth appear to lie here in the castle. That's in that one we found. Oh, the other doth appear to be lost. May have been the evil place that is read off. Does he mean the ma the maze? Or did he mean the attic? Uh, that's a problem. I might have to go look at the walks again. This, this is just, this is just a lie. We don't want that. All right, let's let's explore the attic again. Looking for a possibility of anything else we miss. Where's that guy? There he is. Get a look at the walkthrough and realize there's a piece I missed in some other room somewhere. Oh, hello, what's anything behind here? Apart from making lots of noisy noise, doesn't look like anything. Okay, he didn't seem to hear that, which is good news for me. behind these doors. Well, this is inconvenient. I mean, I guess the question might be, I guess, thinking about it, They found three scrolls, right? Doesn't say which ones. Where did I find the red scroll? I don't remember. The grey one was right here. I think this is the grey one. Maybe this is the red one. One of them... So we found one of them, the hammer our guy had it, right? One of them... Of where the, where things were. Yeah, there's doors like this. I don't know if there's a door that's never going to open or a door which only opens from one side. So one of them's in the office there, right? Um, that was the yellow one. This guy was the hammer, right? Right. I don't know what your deal is. It's not relevant to me, I suppose. Um, there was another hammer right we found.
What did the Hammer Diary say about, about the way they changed the way they dressed? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Right. We have created new special uniforms that shine on our forms so brightly in the dark. Tis but one brother now who doth still retain the old red uniform. So the guy we saw dead with the yellow scroll uh, was dressed in grey. The guy that was... the get out of here part, not the rest of it. That's the magic sword. I didn't expect, I just thought it was just, it looks pretty ordinary, but uh, that's the wide guy who took it, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> is that, is that always going to just kill me or is that just be me dying from highly explosive body parts? be exploding heavily on me, I'm not sure. Little weird. Ah! Yeah. That's not just exploding body parts death, that's that's set up with an explosion that hurts. Alright, I mean he did tell me to get out of here, so okay. Uh, right, the scrolls, the, the numbers. Alright, well, I mean, kind of a good thing I went back there. I wasn't expecting to find the sword there. I mean, it said it was under the tower stairs when it happened, and I thought it was still somewhere near the tower, and I just failed to find it. I just looked in here, didn't I? <sighs> Can't remember where I found the other hammer, right? I think I found the one who was dressed in red, right? Let's go up the stairs. Actually, let's check out the town. These guys aren't hammerheads, are they? Well, none of them are dressed right. And none of them seem to have uh, viruses on them. So they're probably not helpful to me. Do you mind not getting stuck on the stairs while you're trying to walk up them? Okay. Where did we find those emeralds? are just big and confusing. They weren't in here, right? I, I have no idea where, where they were. I didn't find them. 
find one in here, did we? I don't think so. I honestly don't remember for sure, so I can come back and look. Guess we can go all the way through now. This is annoying because I don't. This is not. I don't want to have to look up a walkthrough for this sort of stuff. I would like directions. I would ideally like directions from the mission itself. There's one of them in the music room, maybe. Let's go down to the music room. Like I prefer a mission to guide me towards things rather than that, expecting me to hunt and find things that are well hidden without a clue. Like this, like the tower key, for example. And not the tower key. I, mean, I suppose the tower key would have been one of uh, that category if I hadn't chanced upon it, but at least it was visible on an enemy. on an enemy's belt. Right. You're, this is the hammer right, in, in red, right? Yeah. Doesn't look so healthy, but. Uh, did he have. So did he have the papyrus that I took? I can't actually remember if he had the papyrus. Or whether we found or whether we just found it up here somewhere. Which means there's one grey clad Alright that I haven't found yet. Is this, is this a door? Oh, it is, and it sounds breakable. Hmm, this might be secret breaking, I don't know. Okay, that's fine. You're dead? You're probably not actually dead, right? You're probably gonna get up. What have we got here? Information to start. I have received a complaint about the bulb in the big ceiling lamp, which is broken and needs to be replaced. The switches for the big spotlight and wall spotlights are also broken and need to be fixed. Do not cut the cable to it as the one that you suggested because that somehow will fix the theatre wall lights. Only half of them on the right side can be turned off. And I'm worried there might be a short circuit, possibly even a fire. Someone here. Someone has definitely been messing around with the wiring here. Just leave it on. I will look into it as soon as I can. Janitor. There's a wall lights, there's the ceiling light, big spotlight, wall spotlights. strange going on there. Oh, I see that's supposed to allow this to open. Whoops. Okay, so we were supposed to rope it. We noticed that there was this place was up here and rope. I mean, I guess I could have correlated that. Well, I didn't seriously sequence break anything, so I'm not going to bother undoing that. Yeah, I mean I should have I should have seen that the lights are coming from a place up there, but I didn't. Okay, so what's up with this light that's flashing? Someone's been messing with the wiring wiring, but how? Now it's stopped. No, no, there it goes again. And that's lighting up the ceiling there, but I don't think that tells me anything. Does it? Let's 
There'll be some meaning to all that, all that instruction about the lights that I wasn't following. Don't jump when I ask you to. Thank you. <sighs> Bulb in the big seat. Okay, let's. Right, they're red lights anyway. The ceiling light doesn't work, right? Okay. Big spotlight and wall spotlights are also broken and need to be fixed. Big spotlight and wall spotlights. Do not cut the cable because that somehow affects the theatre wall lights. Is there a cable I can cut? Oh, there is, maybe. No. Weirdly detailed instructions. Only half of them can be turned off. Wires might be a short circuit. Someone's been messing with the wiring. That seems to be hinting at me doing something, I guess. Look around and see if we can see wiring anywhere. And the wiring's all behind the walls and we can't get behind the walls, right? I can't remember if this guy had a virus for us, or if one of the ones we found was somewhere else. Whether this might be, you know, hinting at something is going on. Oh, this is here. And I need to do something with the wiring. <sighs> what? What are you doing here? seem pretty non-physical. Hour into this episode and have got absolutely nowhere. Well, that's not true. We did find it. Did, did, did there's two keys, but uh, that was five minutes. I don't know what we're supposed to be doing here and I guess I am going to go look up ahead. Okay, I'm knocking up the wrong tree here, at least for now. Uh, that safe that I found earlier that was obviously a safe that was not throwable. Um, where was it? Was that in here? Is an office kind of room? This is a bedroom, no? No. It was, it was on this floor, right? I guess we'll look until we find it again. I need to get into that set, basically, is, is the answer. And... We couldn't find a way to do it before. That's the kitchen's... I think this was just bedrooms. Yeah, okay. This is just bedrooms. I 
Maybe it was the safe. Maybe it wasn't this floor. Maybe it's the next floor up where I f when I first encountered. Guy just on this floor. Right, we came in from the tower there. I don't think it was this floor. No, I don't remember. It wasn't this room. What's the floor? What's the next floor up? No. If... I don't remember. This place is big and confusing and it doesn't have a map so I can't make notes on the map as to where things are that are interesting. Like I... I can just write a note to say that there is a thing. But I can't mark it on my map and say this is where it is so I know how to go back and find it. So... Uh, give us maps, people. Give us maps. Even if they're... Even if they're really sketchy, I don't know. Thief mission without a map only feels like half a thief mission. So let's check the next floor up here. I don't think there was... Well, maybe it was. This wasn't just the attic, right? There are other rooms here. The most of them don't open. Yeah, no, there weren't any other rooms here that, that actually opened yet. Wasn't definitely wasn't the attic. Where was? Where the hell was it? All right, going some going all the way back down to, to start and <sighs> trying to find things. This is this. That's what this episode is. Uh, I'm sorry, but if you want an exciting episode that's not just aimless backtracking, looking for a place that you half remember, then we need missions that don't make you go back and look for places you half remember. There weren't any other doors on the ground floor of the tower, were there? I don't think so. Just to, just to jump to it. No. It wasn't in the kitchen or dining room. Right, that's the dining room. Don't think it was that hallway, so let's check this hallway again. This music room. Bathrooms. This room? No, this is a bedroom. Alright, let's go back out this way. No, oh, but this doesn't take me to it. Wait, wasn't wasn't the safe in Didn't I find that safe before I got here? Oh fuck, maybe I did. Maybe it was not in the haunted part, so maybe I'm actually screwed? Oh, that would not be good. That would be really bad. Please tell me that's not the case. I might have to go look up where that safe actually is, and if it really has screwed me like that, I might have to cheat my way into obtaining the item. Alright, well... You know what? I was gonna say, is it a good screenshot with these stairs here or not? Maybe? It's kind of an interesting screenshot. Well then this is kind of an interesting screenshot too. Alright, well I'm gonna go see if I can't find where that safe is. Okay, I have a direction from the walkthrough for the scroll. It doesn't answer the question about the safe, so I don't know what's up with the safe. Maybe that safe was just loot? I don't know. Um, but I need to be back up on the other floor again. The owner's floor and find more stuff that's hidden away. Without any, without any indication of where it was. You know. It 
Want to hide something and make a search for it? Give us an indication as to where it is. Okay, is this... Oh, this this is one of the hammerites. Okay, that was that was the hint. That's, that was the guy I should be looking for. He's one of the hammerites. Cloak, so he's hard to see, and okay. If I if I tweaked that this guy was the hammerite, I might have actually then seen it. This is what I'm missing. Okay. Blue. 52 and 25 is 77. Uh, and we might subtract 71 from that, and we get 6. And we get 7 plus 6 is 13 minus x. So 13 minus 8 is 5. So there we go, the numbers 5, 4, 2, 9. Let's go open that vault. Alright. It would have been good if it, if, like, the walkthrough says, oh, I look behind the sofa in the study, and I had to just look for a room that looked like study. It would be much better if you said, well, where's the hammerites that I'm looking for? And then, you know, they have the scrolls and... But anyway, the walkthrough is giving you direct answers. Um, safe is up. Well, up here. 5429. Let's see if we've done our maths correctly. I still think this is one of the least horror... Well, I don't know if something might spawn. Let's make it happen. Least uh, horror mission-esque things to do. Oof. This is horrific. That's the engine's fault though, not the designers. Got here. Loot gold. Loot gold thoroughly reached. Thoroughly reached. Okay, that's good. And there's the king. Alright, so now we can go back to the main staircase. Go all the way up to the top. And into the attic. And we have the magic sword now, which is probably going to be important. I wonder if that'll let us kill that. Creepy guy, I should try again with the magic sword, right? I mean, my normal sword didn't do anything, but the magic sword might. We always just go past him, but the magic sword might be might be good, you know. Alright, close the door again, good. <laughs> no, apparently the magic sword. Well, if it does... If it does hurt him. I mean, it was... He was Giving off puffy, flamey effects, right? Like it was hurting him. Which I don't think it was doing before. But honestly, I think we're better off just letting him... Letting him be. Now that we've got the second chest part here. Somewhere. Hello, girl. Now it's time to end this. And you just stone. Alright, it's time to end this. Why didn't that switch to anything? I don't know. Well, it did turn into stone. Yeah, gotta kill it first. Do you dare? Just to make sure you properly turn to stone, right? Okay. Now let's eat our food. And we are at hit points. I'm not sure if that's full or if I want to short. But, uh, yes! 
I've, I've played uh, Pathologic Harrisbeck's Rat. I know what a pit like this is. It's a trap, right? I'll drop him back into the water. Uh, okay, we got back to the real dimension. What is this? Oh, there's a weird skull barrel, okay. Swords, sandbags, I don't think, oh, I was gonna say I don't think there's any loot down, down here, but, oh, there's a small tower key. It's just a small tower that I'm in. Is ah, and this door that I couldn't open before. Well, okay. Maybe I should take this screenshot instead. You know, this feels like uh, a more significant one, right? Less spoilery. I do feel like I didn't really get a good chance to uh, explore this place properly. As we suddenly got pulled into the alternate dimension. Looking at screenshot opportunities. From the non spoiler stuff. Alright, let's let's look around the rest of this castle and see if there's anything I missed. There's the chapel. It's an ordinary sort of place, isn't it? There was there was doors that didn't have keys for, weren't there? storage. This was just junk. Oh, that's the way back outside. Don't want to go out there just yet. I'm trying to remember... So, I definitely haven't been to that door, and I guess it's probably just loot. Um, which is probably fine, you know, I don't need to worry about loot. We open right. That's that's that door. That's how it came in. I feel like it didn't properly explore, but maybe it, maybe I explored all that there was to explore. That's the chapel. How did it get into the chapel? Oh, of course, it's under the stairs. This door didn't open if I'm if I remember correctly. Okay. I don't think it'll end the mission, but just in case, I want to just check out this balcony, and then we'll go back to the chapel. Just wrapping up a little here. Oh, it does end. Alright, let's reload. Um, I don't quite want to do that just yet. And that's not where I'd want to go outside anyway, I want to go out there, the basement door. This safe. This is the safe I thought was hiding something, but apparently not. I mean, it's an object, but maybe it's nothing. Well, okay, whatever it is. And this was the chapel. Right, we can't get out the chapel side door. And even if we could, we know exactly where it goes. 
We read the book again. <laughs> it does take us back. Well, it's a long way around, so we don't want to go all the way around again. Okay. Then I guess we do want to go to the basement and back out the back door. Past this door that taunts us that I can't open. Unless the key is hiding in one of the pockets of the pool table. You know, that's a thing you might do. Is this, is this all brushes, this pool table? No, I don't think so. just left the key sitting on top of something here that I've just not noticed. One. Yes. Yes, you did. Okay, what have we got in here? A lot of moss arrows. That, those would have been handy. Uh, practice lock and some other mist stuff. Just the moss arrows then. Okay, fair enough. Well, I'm glad the mystery of the basement key was solved at any rate. Where's the way out? And there was nothing else in here. This door doesn't open, right? Okay. Well, let's finish our meal before we go. I have all those mines that are too late. Just thinking about this, you know. Sorry for the uh, slight distraction, but I feel like maybe this is important. We don't want anybody to come in here and read this book again, right? Be better off dead than trapped in that place. Oh. Farewell castle. I really should probably turn the lights off as I go, right? It's like why waste their power bill here? Beautiful sunny day. And we didn't miss very much loot. I guess there was maybe there was some, maybe that safe could be opened. <laughs> Nothing is flagged as secrets, so I don't know if the stuff I missed that way, but yeah, I'm not surprised I didn't find all the loot. We did deal with the ghost kid. She's now definitely less scary, she's just now just another statue and not even as spooky as some of the other statues in the castle. So that was the abandoned castle. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you here soon for the next mission.